All right, guys, we're here today. And to be honest, we're here with a little bit of anger in our hearts. We're pretty sad. The San Rafael Swell travel management plan came out and there's options on it. There's A, B, C, and D. And option B is the BLM's preferred alternative. Right, so alternative B actually closes down 949 miles of inventory trails. And one of those trails that the option B closes is Five Miles of Hell, the most iconic trail in Utah. Everybody's heard about Five Miles of Hell. And that's where we're standing right here. I mean, we're in jeopardy of losing this whole trail. And that would be, that, that would be so sad. So what we're doing is we want to make you guys aware of how, how you can affect change, how you can get your comments in efficiently. But first, let's, let's, talk, to, let's talk to Justin here. He's, he's been out here quite a bit. He knows all about this area. So where are you from, Justin? Yeah, so I live right here in Emory County. Uh, I was not raised here, but I've been here about 21 years now. My family, my in-laws all uh, were born and raised here, and I've just learned to love it. Oh, yeah. What's not to love? Yeah, I mean, yeah, this area is awesome. It's crazy how you just crest over the top and see all this beautiful country. And, and we know that we can go through it on a trail that has almost zero impact on anything around it. It's mostly on, sea, on slick rock. I mean, it's just, it, it's crazy. You know, this, this trail really is iconic because of some of those characteristics, right? You're, you're quite a ways out here. Uh, it's just, it, you don't really get a chance to ride a trail that's somewhat difficult. And this really does, right? Doesn't think it sets the bar? Yeah, this, this trail definitely sets the bar pretty high. Um, there's a lot of working up to getting this. I, I, like I said, I, I moved down here in about 21 years ago, and that's when I started riding dirt bikes. And it's taken me a long time to get the skills <laughs> to be able to tackle the, some of these obstacles. Oh. Uh, you know, I've heard it say that uh, five miles of hell is, is actually eight miles, and it's every hard obstacle that you've ever done right after another. Yeah. Uh, and we've met people from uh, outside of the country who come to Utah to ride the Five Miles of Hell Trail. And we need to protect it. Um, we need to make sure that this is a, an option for, you know, my kids to be able to come out and, and test their skills on one of the hardest trails in Utah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well said. It would just be terrible if we lost it. And so basically what, what we want to do is, you know, if, if you guys out there enjoy recreating in the swell you got to take some time and we've tried to give you guys a roadmap a way that you can submit your comments that are effective that the blm's going to pay attention to and so plipco's done a really good job with their website you can go in there there's an interactive map you can go directly to the trail that you're interested in it it pops up it helps you make a comment specific to that trail and then you take that information, you take that, that report, and then you submit it to the BLM. And that's really what we need everybody to do. If, if we all just took some time, did it, commented, we're going to save our trails. So, again, there's, there's four options. You've got, you know, recommended options. Uh, there's A, B, C, and D. Again, I've told you that the BLM's preferred alternative is B. The one we support as an off-road community you should be supporting D, as in dog. It's it's the one that closes the least amount of inventoried roads and trails. Again, make sure take take the time. I mean, it's it's not that much time, but it's very important. If you guys want to recreate on the San Rafael Swell, you need to get involved. 